And that's Walmart, Evercore upgrading to outperform, touting the retail giant's scale and stability. Now, they also say that Walmart has gotten a hold of its 2022 inventory problems and views those issues of the past. Now, store traffic has also been trending to the upside. While it's still below those pre-pandemic levels, it's actually been increasing for seven quarters in a row right now. And success at Sam's Club is another thing that was called out in this report here by Evercore. Evercore saying that the club is building some of those loyalty brands that we know that is so important here for Sam's Club through its membership. It also thinks that it's going to continue to outperform as inflation remains sticky, at least for right now. So new price target of 160, still plenty of upside to go. At least Walmart thinks so, and it makes sense in this environment. Yeah, there's a lot of positives in that note. They also pointed to web traffic, which is above pre-pandemic levels, above 2019, above 2020, a little bit lower than the last couple of years, probably because more people are going back to the store. And another interesting graph in there, Dave, that kind of caught my eye with the groceries. We talked about that a lot at Walmart's uh, after Walmart's last earnings, but groceries now for four quarters in a row, double digit growth. It'll be interesting to see if that keeps going up because that is something that Walmart has that some of these other, some, yeah, yeah, some of their competitors don't have when you talk about people trading down and buying groceries at Walmart. And backing up the narrative, the National Retail Federation yesterday said uh, they estimate retail sales increasing 4 to 6% this year. That is above the pre-pandemic average of 3.6%, but we'll get a better glimpse at Walmart Investor Day on April 4th and 5th. That's next week.